And Lester was one of those guys. He was the guy. And and talk about when you brought up Shane Douglas earlier on, and I remember those nights at the office when we turned all the lights out and we kept watching that promo over and over from the palace. <laughs> but I also remember, I don't know if you remember this too, Kevin, but I remember in the office there were like, eh, sidewise a little bit because a little bit of the local guys were like, eh, what is this shit? Like we, we, we can carry this. And there was this, this feeling of like, Hey, we're, we're the homegrown guys. And what is this like, uh, entities coming from the outside in order for us to build this company? I mean, from a business standpoint, I totally understand why we did it, but I can also understand the gripe of some of these local guys that put their heart, their blood, sweat, and tears, even before XBW in the indie days to make this thing happen. So Lester was one of those guys, though, that gained that legendary status and was a homegrown guy. He was, by XPW's mm -hmm. end, he was right up there with any of the guys that came from WCW, oh, yeah. WWF, ECW. And, and that says a lot for Supreme because he was his own. He was not a ripoff of anything. He created. That was him. In large part, yep. that was him. I mean, even in the office, like it was rare. Once in a while, I got to talk to Lester, but usually it's Supreme we were talking to, <laughs> you know. And yep. um, I shared a story, uh, you know, Lester was synonymous for making us pay our dues, especially us announcers, us reps, and us new wrestlers that came in. And and those those angles on xpw tv who wasn't far from the truth or he was going in to find rob and he was shoot punching these kids that's who lester was he was getting across in the storyline of what he what he believed in right um and again this is part of that wild west mentality that we were still involved with within pro wrestling that you're just not going to see anymore backstage right mm -hmm. so but but lester himself was was um his own made individual and He's sorely missed, and I think I think he needs a lot of credit for the success of not just his own character, but of XPW. Because again, he kept the fans on board that didn't necessarily want to see outsiders, the local LA fans, and he also had the respect of the mainstream or the East Coast fans as well. He was one of those guys that crossed over, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah no, absolutely. I mean. First off, on the you know on the deathmatch hardcore side of XPW, yeah, there was there was nobody bigger. Uh, I mean, we could bring in anyone from ECW, and the fans were going to side with Supreme. He was their hometown hero, uh, homegrown hero, you know, uh, which is great, uh, absolutely great. And you know, again, yeah, when you look at his popularity in Japan, his popularity in Mexico, uh, yeah. you know, legendary status, uh, at least definitely in Mexico, went on to hold a number of titles there. You know, and people could talk all they want about, you know, well, it's pro wrestling. What is what does the championship mean? It's all fake. But it's like getting a championship belt put on you means that the owner of the promotion, the booker of the promotion has faith and trust in you and feels you are mm -hmm. of a certain caliber. You know, we don't give, you know, we're not the military. We don't give medals of honor or badges of honor. We're not, uh, you know, a, a regular corporate environment where you can climb the ladder from manager to director to vice president, you know. This is pro wrestling, and those championship runs are are the the honors that are bestowed upon you. And I think right. that um, you know his his legacy as the only four time uh, I think it was you know King of the Death Match uh, in XPW. His legacy, you know, winning multiple titles all over the world. It says a lot about you know him being. I would argue. I don't think anyone could argue that he is the biggest. West Coast deathmatch wrestler in history. And I don't know that we're ever going to see anyone surpass him.